Kyle from Interfidelity here. Today we're going to talk about custom in-ear monitors. I'm holding in my hand a little bouquet of uh, some of these custom in-ear monitors that I tested. Um, this uh, little handful here is about $15,000 worth of custom in-ear monitors. Um, so they're quite expensive. There are less expensive uh, in-ear monitors. They can be as low as around $500. But for this article, we were trying to determine uh, what the best high-end, top-of-the-line in-ear monitors are. And they run, on average, about $1,000. So it can go up to a couple of grand, and in some cases higher than that with external electronic systems to drive them. <coughs> um, so wouldn't you like to give one of these a try and uh, have a listen? And uh, the answer is no, you can't, because they are all custom made for my ears. Uh, to get a pair of custom inner monitors, the first step you have to do is go to an audiologist who will take a deep impression of your ear and will fill the concha bowl and the ear canal with this uh, goo that then solidifies into a little impression like this and then these impressions get sent off to the maker of the in-ear monitors and they will create a product that is a perfect fit for your ear and that kind of creates a problem when it comes to evaluating custom in-ear monitors and trying to figure out which one you'd like to buy. First, they're really, really expensive, a thousand bucks a piece, like I said. And so it's rare that anybody has more than one or two. So you don't get very many people who can give you an impression of one custom in ear monitor versus another custom in ear monitor. Because, you know, they just really, very few people have the opportunity to compare them. And then, of course, you can't try them yourself. You can't say, can I have a listen to your custom in-ear monitors? Because, of course, they don't fit your ears. <clears throat> so I wanted to try to figure out a way to do a product review where uh, we were able to really compare a, a wide variety of the very best custom in-ear monitors in the world. And to do that, you need a lot of custom in-ear monitors and that's pretty tricky to accomplish. Fortunately, uh, the vendors in this field um, were super generous and really helped us out. And so this is how Interfidelity did it. Uh, a couple of years ago, I came up with the idea, but it, it took a while just to put the pieces in place. What we did was uh, I gathered up four other, myself and four other writers at Interfidelity one of the things we had right off the bat was that a lot of us had already a fairly good collection of these custom in-ear monitors, three or four, five maybe, um, of these custom in-ear monitors. <clears throat> but uh, once we assembled the team, I went to uh, Jerry Harvey at JH Audio. I heard his new JH13 Freak Phase last year. Uh, actually, it's JH13 Pro Freak Phase last year at the uh, Rocky Mountain Audio Fest and I was stunned because it really had a tremendously clear sound that I heard even using the generic version. They have a version where you can fit it in your ear and it doesn't give you the, the full experience but it gets you close to understanding what a headphone is going to sound like. And when I heard that headphone I asked Jerry if he would make uh, one of these headphones for each of the riders so that we all had a common headphone that we could use in our comparison and that would help stabilize the uh, relative impressions of the various um, uh, headphones in the group and then to, to our surprise um, West Tone uh, which is one of the, the big uh, custom in-ear monitor makers but they may also make a, a generic fit tip uh, in-ear monitors and they do a lot of hearing aid protection stuff they were generous enough to say, well, look, uh, why don't we make one of our ES5 top-of-the-line uh, customer in-ear monitors for each of your riders as well, so you can have at least two comparisons. 
Uh, and then Sensophonics chimed in and said, no, we want to help too. And, and they gave each of the writers one of the their uh, uh, three Max, which is their top-end custom in-ear monitor. So all the writers in the group actually had three uh, sets of custom in-ear monitors that were common to each of the writers' experience. And then the writers reached out to a whole variety of makers uh, around the world, and uh, we all had five or six or seven impressions made of our ears uh, and sent them off. And uh, over the last uh, four or five months, we've these uh, earphones have been coming in to the writers at Interfidelity. And then we each did uh, a review uh, of all the custom in-ear monitors we had in our possession. And then I produced, a, assembled this into one large article, and it's called Total Madness meaning T-O-T-L -T meaning top of the line and uh, we compared 24 of top of the line custom in-ear monitors from around the world and <clears throat> of course it's too long to go into all the impressions here uh, but because a lot of you YouTubers aren't going to click on the link below the video and go read the whole article I, I'll, I will give the spoiler and say four of these headphones uh, made it to our wall of fame the uh, West Tone uh, ES5 was was terrific, very punchy headphone. It's not quite as brilliant and and uh, um, sparkly as some of the other headphones. It's a little rolled off on top, but it has tremendous punch and is very very nicely balanced. Very strong and and dynamic and a neutral headphone. Uh, the uh, Unique Melody Miracle headphone. This is an Australian company. This headphone is a very, very clear sounding headphone, very transparent sounding. Um, doesn't have a, a big bass on the bottom. It's, it's. I would say it's flat, or maybe, well, I would say it's flat in the bass. But a lot of, um, uh, so for a lot of uh, classical music listeners and acoustic music, acoustic jazz, um, they'll love this headphone for its clarity and neutrality. Uh, uh, very, a very sweet sounding headphone. Uh, and then there's a company, Higher Audio, and I, I believe it's a Korean company, um, and they make really beautiful. Many of these custom in your monitors can you can get your own design put on them. Uh, uh, they really make some terrific designs with wood inlays and so on and so forth. <clears throat> and their headphone is this warm, lush, juicy sounding headphone, uh, great for. Um, airplanes and stuff like that where you get a little extra bass movies and so on and so forth um, and very pleasant to listen to for long periods of time and also a terrific looking headphone because they really specialize in in customizing the look of their headphones uh, but the headphone that all the writers instantaneously pretty much agreed um, was the very best sounding custom in-ear monitor that they've ever heard was the Jerry Harvey Freak Phase, uh, Jerry Harvey Pro, JH13 Pro Freak Phase Edition, um, which uh, does some uh, things that Jerry figured out how to do about a couple years ago to uh, time align the drivers in the headphone. And, and what happens is you get this incredible sense of coherence and space in the sound uh, from these headphones. Um, tr tremendous imaging from a headphone. Uh, something that you really don't hear very often even in regular headphones and in-ear monitors tend to have smaller imaging than uh, full-size headphones as well because you don't get the reflections off your ear. Well at any rate this Jerry Harvey JH13 Pro Freak Phase is a revelation and um, a beautiful sounding can. Uh, it's got a little bit accentuated bass and um, the, the treble seems slightly accentuated as well. So a lot of uh, um, folks who want real neutrality and don't want a little bit of extra you know, bass in their music um, uh, uh, may not like it, the purists and whatnot. But for most people, myself included, I like a little extra bass and um, boy those headphones really deliver. At any rate, if you want to see the entire review, click on the link below the uh, video on YouTube and you can have a look at it. It's really um, a pretty sweeping article, uh, six or eight pages long. It really is a, was an amazing process. 
All right, well, my ears hurt from pushing those things in and out of them a lot over the last month. Um, but I'm certainly not going to shy away from putting some of these really great earphones back in my ears for my listening pleasure. And uh, I hope you get a chance to do that sometime too, soon as well. All right, thanks a lot, and we'll see you next time.